Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. It's making a great one. Always do your best, but don't overdo. This is something to contemplate over the weekend. It's great cranking it out. Getting focused, but don't overdo it. That's the bottom line. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it'll take longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 618, NASDAQ up 133, SP's up 50. Gold, gold contract up $30.20 straight at 2,000, 430 an ounce. We have silver up. Down four cents, twenty-seven dollars ninety-three cents an ounce. Late sweet crude off a of buck sixty-four, seventy-six dollars sixty-four cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten-year note up fourteen ticks, trading one eleven oh seven. The thirty-year up twenty-five at one nineteen thirteen. And king dollar, king dollar trading down forty-three ticks, one oh four three twelve euro one oh eight yen one fifty-three British pound one twenty-eight to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the NDX? Let's take a look at the NDX first. Okay, so you get the NDX up 141 ticks. That being said, uh, we just hit. It just rejected 19,105. But let's go look at this. You're dealing with nine minutes on this. You're still going to, this wants to go, still go down to these lows here. My take is we're going to the lows coming into the close. You're right next to them right now, actually. Well, you, yeah, you're right next to them. It's 173. Um, no, the, the 19,045. And 045 in the NQs, folks, 100 points in the NQs can be pretty quick. The E-minis. We take a look at the E-minis. Same type of setup inside the E-minis. What do you have? They have uh, the S and P's up 52. The high today was 5528. Right now you're 36 off the high. And my take is this thing wants to close at the lows. Same type of setup, man. That's a high volume low, man. That high volume low is at what? 5470. It's only 23 points down, which sounds like a lot, but. <laughs> uh, the way volatility has come back into it, it is not a lot. Gold. We take a look at the gold contract out here. Bottom line, we came down hard and fast yesterday with the gold contract. GC. They're rolling the contract right now. That bottom line being said, you know, this thing wants to go to the bottom of the consolidation, which is uh, laid out there at uh, 2352. And right now you're at 2430. We go to the GDX. We take a look at how the GDX had gapped down yesterday, which is a problem. Yeah, it's a problem, Charles. Here, so here you go. You gapped down yesterday. You did volume of about uh, 38, 31 million. Now you got 10 million on the bounce. It's not what you'd like to see. This is not done on the way down yet. We'll see whether it's going to go after the bottom of this consolidation, which is the 32 mark. And right now you're at 36.47. So notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. And... The 10 years up, 13 ticks. It's still, this has been in a consolidation for quite some time now. You know, what happened is that on the 11th of July, you know, you, you took your, your top out, and you've been going sideways since. Now, let's just take a look at how we're pushing this. Yeah, this wants, this wants, to, this wants to go higher, man. You know, yesterday was a good day. Day before was a good day. This does want to go higher. It's just taking much longer than folks are thinking. That's what it comes down to. Uh, what we had out here today is that you have the SEC uh, going after Andrew Left. Uh, let me get this, baby. Where are you? Where'd you just hide? Uh, there it is right there. So the SEC is accusing 
Andrew left of committing fraud through stock trades, social media posts, research. You know, the bottom line is, folks, which is amazing that it's too bad that he did it the way he did it. It's amazing to me that they'll always go after the shot sellers. Well, here, yeah, let's first say what was illegal. If the allegation is that you can, you can go out there with research papers, folks, okay, and, you know, whatever type of research you have, and trades, as long as you disclose everything. And what he did, which he didn't disclose everything, he did, certainly didn't disclose that he had another hedge fund that if he made a profit, they'd get a million, he'd get a percentage out of that. And simultaneously, if you, you can go short, it can go long. But you have to tell whoever you are doing the research paper on that, that you are doing that. That's, that's the differential. Now, you can, as soon as I saw this, I said, oh my God. I mean, you know, we know that Musk is like the Teflon Don, okay, outside of Trump. But the bottom line is, is that when you think about how many people are long, and push their stocks and just never get caught. It's like huge. So, bottom line, though, I think they, they probably got them because the you know the allegations that's that's a straight out and out deal. Particularly, anyway, it's a straight out and out deal. Some of the higher volume equities. One second, sorry. Uh, where am I? Let's go to our man, Jose, in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. Tom, it's good to see you in the big boy chair on a Friday. Thank you. Good to see. It's good to be yeah. here, man. <laughs> yeah, um, I, on your introduction to your show, uh, you had a caller from France. That's pretty impressive. I know, but you know what? <laughs> you know what's so funny about that? That's Paris, Texas. I thought it was France, too. <laughs> oh, I thought it was France. Uh, for, I you know, did, the, too. The country. I know, oh, I Jesus, know. And that's I, why uh, I says, oh, I was, this is I amazing. Say, <laughs> I, I speak French fluently. I took a lot of classes, if I may give you an example. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> hey, that goes that joke. That was um, good, Jose. I like it. I like it. <laughs> it, it Tom, you and Tim Ward seem to be saying that sit on your hands on tech stocks, you got the summer doldrums, no rush until the holidays when they jack them up again as usual, correct? That's correct. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, okay. okay. You can you can hang, I, just I, just hang there for a few. We'll look at Cadence when we come back. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, don't, don't yeah. buy this now, man. Oh, stay right there. Come right back. Okay. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. We have a market. Over the past year, the market has been consistent in a strong upward trajectory. But now we're just starting to see signs of volatility. Don't let this volatility scare you. Times like these are when big money can be made. That's why I'm excited to announce a live trading event hosted by yours truly. Join me on Friday, August 2nd at 9 a.m. all the way until noon Eastern Standard Time while I trade the S&P. The Qs, the NDX 100, and I'm going to be trading the one-day options on the S&P as well as the NDX. To make this deal even better, I'm offering one month free of my Market Insight newsletter, which has beaten the market by almost a factor of five this year, in addition to signed copy of my book, The Art of Timing the Trade. On top of trading the market live, I'll discuss how I plan my trading day, what times I've found to be the best to trade, how I decide to enter and exit trades, and so much more. I can't wait to see all you folks there. 
Make sure you sign up soon so you can get early access to my market insights and secure your spot. Wow! Let's get them, folks.